One Idaho family is saving a piece of Gem State history one scare at a time. Tonight we take you what was once the Albion Normal School established by the state legislature 125 years ago. We're going to introduce you to the family who's turned the facility into a, well, a Halloween attraction to help actually restore the historic buildings. Photojournalist Doug Locksmith shows us. This place is just part of my life. I just, <laughs> I can't, I don't even know how to describe how I, why I love this place. It's always been deep in my heart. It's such a beautiful, peaceful place. This campus has such a positive, good feeling, and there are so many people here on a regular basis that come back here to visit the campus when they went to school here, and they have such great memories. For years, it was just heartbreaking to watch the we weeds grow and just things, just the vandals just did horrible things to the building and you know and once they start breaking in then the weather and animals start getting in and just really gets terrible. My husband purchased this when I was home pregnant and sick in Boise and when I came here and he brought me here I was like what in the world are we doing here? We had to put on masks and like gear up to even go inside the buildings because they were so bad. They were just crumbling apart. The buildings were obviously that where we have people come and stay we've stripped them down to the studs and completely renovated with new wiring electrical and plumbing and all the things necessary for a comfortable stay. The buildings that we use for the haunted mansions, they were scary. It's hard for me to walk in these beautiful buildings and run into all these spooks and stuff that I have to work my way around. But really, when you think about it, how else are they going to be able to bring in that revenue? If they were just to jump in and repair the buildings, they would be losing money, not making money. It's really fun and kind of ironic because when we talked to Patty, the historian here at the museum, her dad and her grandfather were maintenance workers here and they actually have memories of little haunted houses that the school put on. Up in the gymnasium, they had a haunted house here. Over in Miller Hall, they did a haunted house just for a fun weekend kind of thing. And so we think it's just really fun that that historically they did those things here for entertainment. And now here we are so many years later doing this as well that's helping maintain these buildings. Oh, is it haunted? Yes. <laughs> but I wouldn't say haunted in the traditional sense because in my mind haunting is more of a scary thing. But um, there are definitely ghosts around and, and my theory on that, when I give tours, I tell people my theory is that the students and teachers that attended school here, they loved it so much. I've had the privilege of speaking to a lot of them. And after they pass on, some of them want to come back to visit. And some of them are practical jokers, I think. <laughs> so <laughs> that's my theory on the ghosts. But yes, there are ghosts. She's not afraid of no ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> the Bordensons say they have future plans for the campus that may include a school inside the former mm. women's dormitory and a variety of summer programs for the kids. But for now, the campus will remain the haunted mansions of Albion. For more extended <laughs> and exclusive content about the school, you can head to our website, 600side.com.